Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. First of all, just want to apologize if the audio isn't quite as good on this video. Didn't really feel like getting everything set up today for, for what's probably going to be a pretty short video here. Also, above me in the uh, upstairs apartment, they're doing some drilling, sawing, and making some rackets, so hopefully you can't hear too much of that in this video, but if you can, uh, apologies in advance. So as I mentioned in my last uh, video, the Steely Dan listography, uh, pretty soon my schedule's about to get pretty busy with uh, school and still gonna be working full time. So I've been looking for ways to diversify the channel a bit, uh, get some different content on there, as well as um, make some videos that don't quite consume so much of my time as far as prep work goes. I, I have a bunch of ideas um, that will eventually be making their way to the channel in time, uh, but the quickest and easiest way for me to continually keep uh, content showing up on the channel is, is to just throw up the camera and just tell you about a record that I like. Uh, so that's what this series is gonna be. Uh, this is the pilot episode of what I am calling Record Mendations. I thought that was a pretty clever pun when I thought of it, then I Googled it and realized that it's a very common hashtag, but I'm gonna use it anyways. Whenever I'm feeling really into a record, I'll, I'll turn the camera on and tell you a bit about it. This might mostly be newer records, um, but also possibly some older ones as well, just whatever I'm digging at the time and want, want to let you know about. Uh, they don't necessarily all have to be super obscure, but at the same time, I'm not gonna recommend Abbey Road or Led Zeppelin IV to you either. Maybe slightly more unique or interesting uh, selections than that, hopefully. Now I tried something like this a little bit in the past. Earlier in the year I was making videos that I called New Music Recaps, uh, recapping my favorite records of each particular month. I did, t I think, two of those videos. They got hardly any views, only probably about a tenth of what my normal videos do. So I, I abandoned that idea. I do understand why the worst to best lists are so popular. People really just want to watch something about something they're familiar with and see their own opinions reinforced. A lot of casual fans don't really want to put in a lot of effort into listening to something new, and I get that. And I probably didn't give that new music recap format long enough of a run to let it build its own audience of music fans that are really hungry to discover new stuff. So I'm gonna give this uh, recommendations format a little bit longer of a trial run. Now of course I don't want this to feel like um, giving my viewers homework, uh, but I do want to have sort of a give and take dialogue between us. I recommend things to you, you recommend things to me, we get a bit of a community going here, and we all um, discover some new great music, at least that's that's my hope for this. So for today's first episode I want to talk about um, two records actually by the same artist. Um, I want to shed some light on a fairly new singer-songwriter named Faye Webster. Uh, she's a, a great artist from Atlanta. She spent a little time in Nashville and then relocated back to Atlanta. She's a photographer, um, a yo-yo enthusiast, um, who actually has her own model of yo-yo called The Pigeon, uh, named after one of the songs from her newest record, which I'll talk about in a bit. Uh, her first indie release came out in 2013 called Run and Tell. It's a very country sounding record, a lot of pedal steels, uh, kind of a, a bit of a twang in her voice on that record. Uh, but when I discovered her was when she put out her 2017 self-titled album. Uh, as far as the style of the writing goes, it's uh, less of a country record, more of a 70s singer-songwriter record, uh, but it does still have a lot of elements of country pedal steel all over the thing. Uh, the songs are really simple and amazing. A lot of songs that I wish I had written, especially songs like Alone Again and It's Not a Sad Thing. I just think it's really masterful when you can write songs that just seem to materialize out of nowhere. They seem like they've always existed. There's no trace of the craft behind it. Um, the words don't seem labored over at all. There just seems to be an open channel between the emotions and the lyrics. But yeah, definitely check out that self-titled album from a few years ago. One of the best singer-songwriter records of the last few years, in my opinion. Uh, really, really excellent. And I also want to talk about her new record, uh, which is out this, which came out this year on Secretly Canadian Records. Uh, with her last record, the self-titled, um, seemed like kind of my own little secret. No one really knew about her. She's getting a lot more press for this new record, being on a new label. I fully expect that this record will be popping up on a lot of 
end of the year lists, and I think her star is just going to keep rising from there. Interesting about this record, um, in addition to the singer-songwriter elements in the country, twang, steel guitar, she also starts incorporating R&B and hip-hop on on this new record, Atlanta Millionaires Club. It's a really unique and interesting blend that really I can't say I've heard much before. Kind of whispery R&B hooks with pedal steel guitar behind them. The arranging and the production on this record take a real step forward as well. This record sounds fantastic. There's great horns on it, uh, Fender Rhodes, and still plenty of that pedal steel in there as well. Uh, for some great highlights from this record, I would check out Pigeon, Johnny, and Kingston, a stretch of three songs right in the middle of this record that is absolutely fantastic. So yeah, guys, uh, I hope a few of you at least take a, a couple minutes and at least click through these uh, records to see if, if you like them or not. I, I think you will. Definitely give the video a like if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already subscribed, and comment below, give me some suggestions. I'm especially looking for anything that came out this year that maybe I haven't heard of yet, so drop that in the comments. I hope to keep doing this and uh, get a lot of good record recommendations from you. So, thanks guys.